Uh, thank you so much, Judy. Thank you for everything that you do. And thank you for going back to Bangladesh and uh, raising the issues again. And uh, uh, when people said that nobody would ever be held accountable, lo and behold, we found out that uh, I think 40 or f uh, more individuals have been indicted now by the government for that, that tragedy, that catastrophe that took place for those women in the garment industry in, in, in Bangladesh. But that's the kind of work uh, that ILRF does, and they do it all around the globe. They do it all of the time uh, for all of the people who are victimized uh, by their employers, by trade groups, and others uh, who do not necessarily have a voice in their own country, uh, but can put together uh, uh, an, an organizing effort if they have support from outside of the country and among international organizations. And ILRF has just been fabulous in, uh, in calling people to account for this. And with, uh, G reaches out to our friend from the tobacco workers, uh, with brave workers who will come forward and risk a great deal uh, to participate in trying to achieve uh, a better conditions for themselves, their own human dignity, and respect from their, uh, and their employers, and recognition of the importance of their jobs in the local economies. Uh, that's what ILF does. It, it provides people the, the means by which to step forward and to know that there'll be support here uh, in the Congress and elsewhere. And when you speak about support in the Congress, you've got to speak about Sherrod Brown. Uh, Sherrod Brown, on um, whatever the issue is that, that affects workers, uh, uh, whatever corner you're huddling in to discuss some, some component of the unfair treatment of workers, the, un, the unfair payment, the unfair conditions, the lack of rights, there's, there is Sherrod Brown. And he has done a marvelous job in trying to uh, show the American public and members of Congress that they ought to be able to read and see a document before they vote on it. They ought to be able to discuss it with their constituents, an outrageous proposal in a democracy like ours, that you would discuss this with your constituents, since many of them might lose their jobs. Many of them have from these past, the past agreements. But this is, uh, this is a trade agreement on steroids. Uh, against the interest of working people, against the interest of people organizing in this, uh, in this country. And it's not for the faint of heart because you have a president that's very committed in these last, uh, these last months to this agreement, uh, turning back effort after effort to try to get uh, the, the opportunities for the Congress to learn more about the agreement, to understand the implications of the agreement, uh, but that's not, uh, that's, that's not the plan yet. So, Sherrod, thank you so much for that. But that uh, comes at the, uh, at the end of a long history since he's come to Congress in 1993 of taking care of working people in the district. He was there in every corner of his district, in every corner of the Congress where you huddled to talk about people being abused, people being uh, disenfranchised uh, in the workplace, people struggling to get a voice in their workplace. There's Sherrod Brown. He's just been one of the, one of the great joys of my life. Uh, 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 since I've come to, to the Congress. The other one's sitting in the back smiling and nodding his head, and that's Tom Harkin. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> the, three of us had, the three of us had a great opportunity to work on all of these uh, issues, and I think the three of us truly understand and value the courage and the commitment that so many workers make in this country and around the world to step forward and raise their hand and, say, and ask, what about us? When do we get justice? When do we get fair pay? When do we get decent working conditions? And uh, to the extent that the three of us have been able to help them, uh, Sherrod, we've handed this off to you. Uh, we we uh, continue to be involved uh, outside, yelling at the, yeah, to, the, uh, uh, to the inside. Uh, but I want to thank you for your championing uh, these causes uh, in your entire time in the uh, Congress. I know tonight's a big night for you, and I know tomorrow's a terrible day for you because the San Francisco Giants will be at the White House. But other than that, uh, uh, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much for being a marvelous member of the Congress and of the Senate.